Hello everybody, how you doing today? Sunday afternoon, I worked my butt off yesterday. We were putting in a privacy fence over at my sister-in-law's. Didn't get any of the panels up, but they had a whole lot of posts, and so we got all the posts set, and so now it'll come together really quick. I'm enjoying how little heat we have right now. Apparently there's a system down in the Bahamas, and they said it's you know a 20% chance of it doing anything but we're gonna get a lot of rain over the next couple days and I'm fine with that we've needed that so I moved the chicken coop over because they're not able to get out in free range so you know mess builds up and it starts to stink a little bit and so I'll rake that into the ground and I move the coop so they have some fresh grass to pick at and all kinds of fun stuff these chickens are getting huge um, Hannah dealt with them yesterday I didn't deal with them yesterday and so when I came out today to look at them, when I moved it, I'm like, holy cow, these things are massive. So I'm going to show you the chickens, do a little update. We've got so much done here, y'all. So I'm just going to kind of show you what we're doing around, around the homestead here. Also, when you see these chickens and how big they are, a couple of them, Hannah goes, they actually look like chickens, meaning uh, pretty much all the feathers are out, all the down is gone. Should I move a couple of them over how many do you think i should move over with the two chickens even the two small fuzzy butts that just kind of held on to being really tiny and not have feathers coming in they have exploded the past couple days and even them you're like holy cow these things are, are huge so let me show you and i thought with us moving our little escape artist wouldn't try to do it immediately went to that corner was trying to dig underneath it to get in with the big chickens so i had to put the bricks in again but let me show you the chickens and uh show you what we're dealing with so here they are like i said like this one and this one and this one and this one uh basically the four well summers they are huge especially this one like i think it's ready to go over right now but what do you think? Should I move the well summers over or should I just move, you know, two or three over, keep the smallest one here in with the chicks a little bit longer. And I think they're ready to get over with the big chickens. So there's the chicks still got to redo their feed. We're going to do their water. I ordered uh, water nipples yesterday, so they should be here in the next couple days. I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to totally yet. So they're just going to, get the bucket with the nipples on it eventually i'm going to follow sunny slopes homestead's lead and get a self filling water tub water bucket in there so that is the chicks let me show you the chickens so there are those guys they're kind of the same they haven't got too much bigger they're but definitely enamored with the the chicks they don't stray too far from that fence they're always right there with them and the chicks are right there with with the bigger chickens too so i'd have to go back and look somebody said that that's a good thing that the chickens stay near each other so we'll see um i've been having owen get in and sit with the chickens for the past few days i go and i grab the rooster the one that kept pecking at me a little bit um, i've been grabbing him and just walking around the yard with him when he stops making his noise and I feel his heartbeat go down and he calms down then I put him back in so hopefully that gets to where we don't have that issue anymore and he just accepts me as the dude you don't want to mess with so we've been doing some other stuff around here lately finally have that giant pile of dirt gone that was a brutal <laughs> job that I I knew it was going to be tough man I didn't think it was going to be that bad but we did it Hannah helped me out a lot so I'll turn it around show you what we're dealing with what we still have to do to get this yard at least fenced back in enough for the kids and then we can worry about getting it fenced in for Bella so look at that no more mound I still have to replace this because that's just sitting on the ground that's one that, that was dipping really bad, and so it's broke off, and which is sitting over on the side. So I have to replace that. I have to move that about six inches farther because I'm off kilter. What, 
what can I say? I, I thought it was lined up until I went to stretch the fabric and realized, oh, nope, it's not lined up. And I looked at it again and said, oh, okay, well, that's why it's that way. So we got this filled up. I've been burning a bunch in the burn barrel. Uh, this thing has been a godsend. So I've been burning that up. Um, been able to get rid of some of the bad gas we had. So I'm safe with it. Don't freak out. So if you're a firefighter, <clears throat> Broussard, or you know you know me personally you know i'm a bit injury prone take care of that i was safe took out the old fire pit and filled it in we're going to get one that's off the ground so when it was down in the ground it was a pain to keep lit or get lit because there's no air movement and i just it was annoying to have to get down on my hands and knees and reach down into the ground to get anything done so that's what we've been doing around here just a quick update i wanted to show you the chickens how much they have grown that's it's crazy you can start telling them apart now which means owen is going to have to rename them and so we can say okay this one is this one and this one is this one leaf and squid those two are easy to tell those chicks it was tough so now that they're getting bigger and you can t definitely tell them apart owen will just have to rename them we got that giant pile of dirt done and gone now we can button everything back up and start to move on finish some of these other projects around here that weren't so labor intensive but we just kind of had to put them back because that had to be done first then the chickens kind of came in and put that on hold for a little bit so we could deal with that so now we can get working on getting our garden set up um, working with that old trampoline which is going to be a surprise and this next week we have a special visitor coming to stay with us for a while my mom is coming and so we're pretty excited about that and then at the end of next month with Owen's birthday party my dad is flying down to meet up with her and then they'll fly back to Ohio together but um, she's coming down to stay with the month with us because with Hannah starting to teach me being a teacher we have like a week and a half where we would have to find childcare, and so mom's coming down to help us with that and then she's just gonna stay for the month until the birthday party and then she'll fly back with my dad after the birthday party so we're pretty excited with that we are definitely gonna do a live um, if you've been in on our lives she is mamaw's reborn pumpkin patch so we'll do a live with her and that's pretty much all I have just wanted to show you those few things get you caught up if you're in the Midwest be safe there's been some nasty, nasty weather come through. I've been following really close to Vers Wisco Homestead. If you don't know them, if you aren't subscribed to them, go subscribe. They do a lot of really cool stuff anyway, but the videos that they've been showing with the weather has been pretty insane. And the aftermath video that they posted, uh, I think to, I think both of them were posted today. One may have been yesterday and one today. I've watched a lot of their weather videos, but it's just devastating. Like I know, I know his dad's car had a tree fall on it and not good stuff. So I, I hate seeing all the damage. So remember to keep uh, that area in your prayers. I know New York has some pretty nasty weather too. So it's going crazy. So keep, keep everybody doing all nasty weather in your prayers. Remember, be self-sufficient and help everyone you can and can be snowing. Y'all have a good day. Bye.